How's it going everybody and welcome back to a new video! Today we are visiting 15 mods that have been and are still being updated in version 1.19.2. Some of these mods are for Fabric and some are for Forge, so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into the good stuff. Apollos Utilities is a mod which adds a couple of new blocks and items into Minecraft. This mod is highly configurable, so it's a great mod to include into any mod pack you create. For example, loot boxes have been included with this mod, and each drop two different materials. This can be configured to give other items from other mods, as right now it will give you two different items. A new ore called Ender Ore has been created and spawns underground. When mined, it will drop Ender Fragments, which can be created into Ender Pearls. A new interactive block called the Drying Table can be used to create new food like jerky, dry bushes, and leather. All you need to do is either put a raw piece of meat, sapling, or bundled rotten flesh into the top box and you will get the result in the bottom box after a short time. There are a couple of more items and blocks in this mod, so make sure to download this to check it out. Sword Displays is a simple mod which adds a display block for your sword. There are different variants ranging from wood to netherite and this is compatible with other mods too. You can simply create a sword display with one iron and stone, or you can make different types of sword displays made up of materials you want it to be, whether that is gold, prismarine, diamond and more. You can also have glass casing around the sword display for that little bit more detail. Forgero is a mod which focuses on tool creation and customization, as well as upgradable tools. You can create a range of different types of tools, all you need to do is simply create the different part of the tool, the handle and the head. Once you craft both of these, you can put them together in a crafting table to get your very own tool. Each type of tool has different attributes like rarity and durability. This mod has taken some inspiration from mods like Tinkerous Construct and Smithy, but has put its own spin on it. If you are struggling with materials, you can input the command slash forge arrow create station and it will generate a small workshop for you to explore with all the stations and materials you need to get started. True Darkness Elementary is a mod which adds a couple of new and unique biomes based around corruption. But it's not just corruption, another biome called the Lavender Fields generate in your overworld covered in lavenders and different trees. You can find new ores in the corrupted and darker biomes across your world which you can make into powerful tools, weapons and armour. You may also come across some new and dangerous mobs. This mod is still in development and is updated with newer content frequently, so make sure to check the mod out for yourselves. Simple Planes is a mod which adds new types of aircraft into Minecraft for you to build and control. With this mod, you can soar across the sky in a plane or a helicopter made of wood of your choice. This mod is compatible with other mods as well, so this can be made out of any other wood types which aren't vanilla. With easy controls, you'll be able to travel at a much faster speed without having to go through stacks of food. You can also pack a lot of things in your aircraft with chests and is compatible with iron chests, giving even more space than regular chests. Immersive Portals is a popular mod which makes it so that you can see through the portal before you enter it. This means that if you light another portal, you will be able to see what's on the other side of the gateway. This also applies to the end. I will say that this mod isn't compatible with a lot of mods, so make sure to go and check out which are compatible and which aren't. This mod also includes a way in which you can change the size of your character and surroundings. You will need to make a compatible border for your portal if you wish to do this, otherwise it won't work. You can see here that I'm using a 3x3 portal to enter a 1x1 portal to make everything bigger. You can have a lot of fun with this mod, so make sure you do check this out. Expanded Copper is a mod that adds a range of different blocks made of copper. These blocks come in a range of different variants depending on how oxidised they are. You can now make a copper button, copper pressure plate, copper trap door, copper door, copper bars and even a copper lantern. As I've said, they can become oxidised and turn from an orangey colour to a turquoise type colour. Industrial Decor adds new blocks into Minecraft relating to factories and industrial type buildings. This mod is actually compatible with Infernal Expansion and Energetic Expansion as large lantern variants are also included, as well as Industrial Decor's own designs of the lanterns. Many new blocks included with this mod are chain link fences, sheet metal blocks, cardboard blocks and even cinder blocks. There are many variants to these blocks as well, so you're not just stuck with one type of those blocks, which is great. Days in the Middle Ages is a very new mod which includes a range of new decorative blocks, items and more with some functions. There are some blocks which are only exclusive to creative mode at the moment, but as this is a new mod, they may be added into survival later in its development. This mod is based around the Vikings and Middle Ages, so you should expect to see these blocks designed in a way to match this theme. I do like this mod as it does add many unique designs to blocks which aren't in many mods I know of, so if you do like playing Minecraft with a Viking or Middle Age theme, this is something you should download. Lightman's Currency adds coins into Minecraft with different variants. 
This mod is a multiplayer supported mod and is designed so you can trade with your friends as well as set up your own shop. Friends could then come into the shop and buy items from you with their coins and the different variants include copper, iron, gold, emerald, diamond and netherite. This mod adds many blocks and other things relating to money including ATMs, bank accounts, converting coins and more. Even if you don't want to use this mod for the system it currently has, it can be used as decoration as the designs of each block are very well made. Pack It Up is a small mod which adds a range of different backpacks into Minecraft. You'll first need to create yourself a pack bench so you can combine different frames and bags together. A lot of these backpacks have a unique way about them where you can have simple backpacks where you can hold a maximum of two row items. You can then create an extreme backpack which can hold a maximum of six rows of items. You can also create an ore pack where only ore blocks, raw materials and gems can be inserted. There are so many different backpacks with many different uses in this mod which is why this backpack mod may be one of the best. Sharks mod is a mod which has three different sharks into Minecraft. The current sharks you can find in your travels is the white shark, hammerhead shark and tiger shark. The design of these sharks feel very vanilla friendly and what's great about them is that they can also drop teeth. These teeth can be used to create a shark teeth necklace which, when worn, will give you the strength effect. Tiger sharks also have a chance to drop shark fins which can be used to create tiger shark soup. As well as filling your hunger bars, this will also give you the dolphin's grace and water breathing effects for a couple of seconds. The Graveyard is quite a popular mod which adds a range of new features into your Minecraft world. This mod has its own biomes, mobs, structures and even its own boss. The biomes have actually been made into its own separate mod if you don't want everything with it. This mod is pretty big with what has been added as you can find new structures including the Haunted House, Crypt, Lich Prison, Ruins and many more. In these structures you may find new mobs like the Skeleton Creeper which is a fast version of the Creeper who will make it hard for you to run away from. If you're up for a real challenge, then you can attempt to summon and fight the Lich, which is the boss of this mod. After following instructions from their mod page, you will fight the Lich with its three different forms, so good luck with that. Scarecrow's Territory is a useful mod which generally keeps mobs spawning and spawners activated when there aren't any players close by. To craft a Scarecrow, you simply need one carved pumpkin, one block of wheat and three sticks. You can also dye these any colour by right clicking on it with a die when it is placed down. Any passive mob or spawner within an 8 block radius will allow them to spawn as long as the scarecrow is placed but this is configurable in the config. Creatures and Beasts is the final of these awesome mods in this showcase and this mod adds a couple of new mobs into Minecraft. There are currently 9 different mobs in this mod which can be found all over your world across the different dimensions. Mobs you can find are the Yeti, Lily Tads and End Whales. Along with these creative mobs are new items and these can be made into useful items which can allow you to interact with new mobs. Let's take the lizard for an example. You can create an apple slice and it can be fed to a lizard which is sad to cheer it up. And these little guys also love music. That's it from me today, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. All these mods are very unique and great in their own ways and I really urge you to check them all out. I hope you all have a great day and I'll catch you all in the next video.